Hello everyone, this is Adrian from CH Ignitions. Today it's a wonderful day here in Florida. Uh, it's nice, I'm staying in shorts and other people up north, they don't know what to do with the snow. <laughs> well, that's the name of the game. Anyway, so today we're having a ASP 120 four stroke, uh, brand new engine and it's been converted to CDI and gasoline so as you can see here the setup um, a new spacer that you will push back the intake manifold the Zama carburetor back there you can see on the bottom there a red part that it's the carburetor support that holds the the carburetor uh, magnet ring <coughs> and the sensor holder I think that it looks pretty decent. The prop, it's an Evolution 16.6. And this is the ASP FS120. So, you, don't, you guys don't say that I'm lying. <laughs> okay, so uh, the vent, it can be connected to the tube here, but I don't like it so it will be better to be take a tube and get it out to exhaust on the outside to be, to have only fresh mixture um, that I just plug it for now like that so we can use there whatever type of uh, plug but for the testing purposes it works for right now so this also will be available pretty soon so who was it Whoever, whoever is interested, don't hesitate to, to call me. So let's give it a start. Hopefully we'll start nice and easy. Uh, the part that I love the most, one hand filming, one hand starting. Mm. It starts pretty good, actually I had it a little bit earlier to start it up. a brand new engine I don't want to force it too much you will need to break in more so it idles let's see So you can see it has a pretty good uh, idle. Engine warmed up, so let's do a little bit of the wide open throttle. still on the rich side since it's a brand new engine um, probably it's gonna go around 80 182 100 rpms but it runs pretty good one of the things that I suggest to everyone that I can see right now if you get this engine just go over all the screws on it because I can see now that one at the back right here is just backing up by itself I don't know if you can see it so when you get those engines better go over on all the screws and tie them up because my fly might come apart in uh, in the flight I had that happening before so here is the way the engine looks I think it doesn't look too bad So I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, next, probably today, I will start a OS 
95V and we'll see how that runs. Thank you for watching and come back again.